All right, so the heading is standard deviation, which I will catch up with. And I want you to help me remember. Um, deviate. Whoops, De I just said the word deviate. Um, what does the word deviate mean? To, yeah, to be different, to stray from. It's like, here's, here's where everyone is, and you deviate, you go somewhere else, right? So, I always thought it was funny, when you put the word standard, in front of deviation, it's kind of a bit of an oxymoron, okay? The idea is, have a look at each of these, right? Do you remember we said the mean for all of these is the same? By the way, we had a symbol for the mean. Does anyone remember what it was? It was the, oh, X with the line above it. It was X with an R, uh, a line above it, which is why we call it, like we read it as X bar. So if you see that and I say X bar or whatever, that's what I'm referring to. Um, X bar, the mean is just 12 in all of these cases, okay? What standard deviation is, is a measure of, okay, well, if this is the mean, how far do most of these people go away from that? How far do they deviate from the mean? Um, what would you predict is the standard deviation of this set of scores? Zero. It'd be zero, because they don't deviate at all. Um, here, you're going to get a bigger standard deviation. Well, I'll show you, we'll calculate it in a minute. And then here, what would you expect? You'd have it even even larger, right? So it's you know how we said um, this is in the, the little exercise called measures of spread. This is a measure of well, how far spread out have you put these marks? Okay. So on your calculator, and I've got this up here so you can see because we do it so infrequently. Maybe you've forgotten how to do this, uh, and you may want to jot down some of these steps for standard deviation. Okay. So that's the first step. So with your calculator, uh, normal. You need to press the mode button. Don't press shift mode, just say mode. And you can see there are three modes. There's computation, statistics, and then there's verification. You can play with that one for a while if you want. Um, we're usually in computation mode, which is one. Press two, and we'll change it to stat. Why do you have verification? Yeah. Say it again. Uh, it will depend on if you've got a plus two or a something else. Which I so I'm plus more. Okay, now, just... Is that the early difference? No, there are a few other ones. Just so that you're aware, I'm going to do a lot of these steps. So, just keep the discussion to a minute because I don't want you to be like two or three steps behind you. Like, I've got no idea what's happening. Okay. You've got a whole bunch of options, okay? The only one we're really going to be interested in is this first one. One var stands for one variable, okay? So, we'll have a look at that. We'll press one. And then this is what happens on my screen. So what you're telling, what this is telling you is, here are, um, this is whichever score, like it's counting the number of scores you put in, and X is, what's the score, okay? So for instance, I could say uh, 12, and then if I hit equals, that's my first score, and then I can go 12 again, and 12 again, and 12 again. Now I have four scores, and they're all 12, okay? Now how do we work out some things to do with this? Well, if you can see down here, up above the number one, you can see it says stat, above that. So we're in stat mode now. So if I say shift one, right? You can see I've got all of these different options here. I'm going to go <coughs> two. Uh, wait, no, that's not what I want to do. Hold on a second. Shift. Hold on a second. Do you not have all six? No, that's not what I wanted. Oh. No, it's not. Sorry. I pressed the same thing and I got type data some bar. No, there's something. Yeah, hold on. Mm. Yeah, that's what I want. What have I done? <laughs> Did you just type the same thing? I have the same thing. You've got what I've got. Okay, I'm confused because I had something different a second ago. I want what you've got actually. Uh, I have all six. I have all six. Because it could have been because you have the M. Hmm. I already have the M. Because you have the M. No, I need to work out what's the difference because I didn't have that a second ago. You have the M. I don't have the M. No, that's memory. That's something else. That's okay. That's okay. I've got to sort out what's the difference between what we've done because otherwise. Why did the exact same range? Okay, Eliana, um, can I pinch your calculator? Yeah, I just want Thanks. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know exactly why. Can you still see that? Or have I gone off the screen? Yeah, okay. Um, 
I'll have to sort out what was the difference because there should be more options. I'll show you them in a second, provided I can replicate it. Maybe I've screwed up your calculator now too. Um, if you go to shift one, and I'll find out if you, your calculator looked like mine before, yeah. I'll try and work out what's going on. But this is what you're supposed to see, shift one. Oh look, I did it again. Oh my I've God, got what did magic, you do? I don't know, yeah. what have I done? Has someone, who's got the, yeah. the more options? Well, I, I just gave it, don't give it to you. Now, my question just, is, what did you do that was different? I'm trying to work out. What did you just do, sir? Because mine was not Do you want to just do it from Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Maybe turn it off in the back Oh. Oh, I, wait, maybe that's it. Oh, I think I know what I've done. I think I know what I've done. Oh, Can I? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I worked it out. Sorry. You see, I do this infrequently too and have to remind myself. Um, you remember that screen I showed you before? This one, right? So you're in this mode when you're putting scores in. Okay, when you're putting scores in. Once you've got all the scores that you want, what you actually want to do is, um, is clear the screen. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's the difference. So I'm going to hit on, and even though it's clear now, the data is still there. Okay, it's just sort of tucked behind. Now I'm going to press Shift 1. If I wanted to look back at the data I just input, I would say 2 for data. But what I want is um, something different. Okay, I'm going to press 4 for variable. Okay, now... I, are you guys with me now? Did it make sense? Are we all on the same page? No? I pressed on to clear it. Okay. I think if you press AC, I guess it did the same thing. Yeah, it's AC is the same? Yeah. So, so punch your numbers in. Once you've punched your four scores in, then clear it, and then you can press shift one. Is that okay? I might write that down. So step one is uh, get into stats mode. Shift set up. What are you doing? You've got to get into stats. Step two is enter your data. And then, this is apparently really important, you better clear the screen. Clear the screen. And then shift one will get us to these options. Clear by pressing AC. I didn't need to. AC will do, one will do, uh, I to on will do it. And it just, it just works. Your calculator is different. Like it's actually different. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at this, okay? The three that we're interested in are one, two, and three. I'll talk about four later on. One, and what does that mean? What do you think that means? Let's just press it and find out. One equals four. What do you think it means? It's how many scores I have, okay? So N is how many scores you've got. If you go back to shift one, shift one, press four for variable. What's two? Medium. <laughs> Medium. That's X bar? So that's the mean. The last one we want is this guy here. That's standard deviation. So I'm actually going to write that. Five. It looks like that's, that's the thing I want. Let's press it. Three. And hit equals. OK, wait. Is that what we expected? It yeah. is, because this is where uh, all of the scores are the same, so you've got no standard deviation. 